How does Islam define financial moderation and avoiding extravagance? Okay. This would come down to, um, <clears throat> it's, it's different for everyone. Everyone's financial situation is different. Um, <clears throat> and everyone's ability to benefit those around them is different. So this comes down to the issue of um, ma'ash and ma'ad, right? So if you want to spend something and it's going to have a direct benefit uh, on your, your ma'ash, your life here, um, such as, you know, buying bedding for your house, you know, buying pillows to sleep on, <coughs> you know, <clears throat> buying a fridge, a cooker, these sorts of things and necessities, no problem. Then there are a few extra things like a person might buy books to, you know, to learn about the world, to educate themselves, that's fine. Um, <clears throat> a person might spend on their family, on their relatives, on their friends. If it's done with the intention to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, fine. But that gets to a point where, <clears throat> you know, where it gets beyond function. Um, so uh, someone decides to buy, um, okay, you want to buy a watch, okay, so you can get a normal analog watch, or you want to get a watch where you can count your steps in, so you go spend, you know, a bit of money. Is there anything wrong with buying something good that looks nice? Not necessarily, no. Is there anything wrong with buying something that's, you know, got some good functions that it may be a bit more on the expensive side, but... Uh, the functions that it has are going to be useful and beneficial and you will use them you, that's fine as well you can do that but then would you go spend you know 10 times the price on expensive watches but you know on something extravagant uh, just because it has a nice bling to it just because someone who notices that design and they'll recognize it to be made of this brand or that brand or just because it has a particular name to it this is extravagance <clears throat> and to be honest with you most of this, this designer stuff you know it's made by it's made for like you know a hundredth of the price <laughs> you know that they charge uh, is made by some poor soul in some you know some poor country and the companies just stick a label on it and that's what you're paying for uh, it's foolishness it's like you're paying for a brand so people can recognize you as having that brand you know, as owning something of that brand and you're not actually buying anything of quality. So that's with design labels. So these sorts of things. <clears throat> so there are no hard and fast rules, but what is considered excess is generally known, you know, in a person's society on their social circle. So someone can, you know, you're allowed to have nice clothes, you're allowed to have nice things. One of the things about having, say, nice clothing or, um, you know, someone has a nice pen that they use or something like this. One of the aspects behind that is that it moves you to feel gratitude. It makes you think, you know, Alhamdulillah, I have this. and I don't have, you know, something that's, that would struggle to do this job. So that makes you feel grateful to Allah. And if you're doing something like this to please Allah, to show thanks to Allah, no problem. But um, <clears throat> if it's if it's the case of you doing it, here's another thing you can you can do. Who are you doing it for? Is it literally like if you were to buy something, you know, expensive or extravagant, and not a single person notices it, and not a single person uh, compliments you on it, and you know, would this bother you? If it would bother you, then you're not doing it, you know, for a good justifiable reason. You're doing it for people's praise. That's going to be extravagance. But if it's got form and function and you're doing it for his, no one notices it, no problem. You know, you, you notice it, you, you know, it's, it's, it's useful for you. Great. So these are just some broad outlines. And um, <clears throat> if it's not going to help you in this life or be a means to have help in the next life, and there's no function behind it even you know it's just all form then uh, it's probably best to avoid it you know Allah knows best La ilaha illallah, Muhammad,